Okay, this next group of problems, we're supposed to find some derivatives, and so we're just going to be applying the rules of differentiation that we've learned. Uh, for problem number 15, I want to find the derivative of y equals 25. And so we know that there's a constant formula that tells me the derivative of any constant is just zero. And you can think about the, if we had the line y equals 25, that's just a horizontal line, and the slope of a horizontal line is zero. And that's what the derivative is telling me, the slope of the line. So we can say, y prime is just equal to zero. We did number 21. On 21, we've got f of x is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared. And what we have here is just a difference. So we're just apply the difference rule, which tells me to take the derivative of each term and just subtract those uh, derivatives of each term. So f prime of x is equal to, using the power rule, the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. And again, using the power rule, the derivative of minus 3x squared would be minus 6x. Number 23. Before we take the derivative on number 23, it'd be a good idea to rewrite this with some fractional exponents so we could use the power rule. So I can rewrite that as 6x to the 1 half minus 3x to the 1 third using the fractional exponent rule. And uh, of course, I should have said that that's equal to h of x. Let me just write it on this side since I didn't write it over there. And now I'll switch sides and say, well, then h prime of x must be equal to. We'll just use the sum and difference rule again and take the derivative of each term separately and just subtract those derivatives. The derivative of 6x to the 1 half, using the rule that the derivative of x to the n is n times x to the n minus 1, that's going to give me 6 times the derivative of x to the 1 half is 1 half x to the negative 1 half. And then we'll say minus 3 times, and then the derivative of x to the 1 third is 1 third x to the, and when we take 1 third and subtract 3 thirds, which is the same thing as 1, I get negative two-thirds. All right, so that's the derivative. Let's just simplify it a little bit by multiplying these whole numbers and fractions. Six times a half is three, so three x to the negative one-half, and then three times a third is one, so minus one times x to the negative two-thirds. And I'd be perfectly uh, content with you leaving it just like that. Number 25. Let me create a little space up here. For problem number 25, we have g of t is equal to 2 over 3t squared. We should rewrite that using the negative exponent rule, and we can just write that as 2 thirds t to the negative second power. And now just applying the, pow the power rule, I find that g prime of t would be equal to 2 thirds times negative 2t Subtract 1 from the exponent, we get negative 3. And then let's just multiply the, the constants there and end up with negative 4 thirds t to the negative 3. And finally, number 29. We have f of theta is equal to 3 cosine theta minus, and let me just rewrite that as one-fourth sine of theta. All right, well, we know that the derivative of cosine theta is negative sine theta, and the derivative of sine theta is negative, is cosine theta. And so applying that, I can find f prime of theta is equal to three times negative sine theta minus one-fourth times cosine theta. And I would just rewrite that by putting the negative out front. Negative 3 sine theta minus 1 fourth cosine theta. 